Hello everyone, welcome to HP Extreme, the new generation of hot process soap making. This is Sharon with Rose of Sharon Essential Skin Care. And I'm so blessed to have you join me today for the making of Flowers in Bloom 2 Hot Process Soap. And of course this soap was created using the SJHP SBHP 10 minute hot process method. Fluid hot process soap on the countertop in less than 10 minutes. And you can learn more about this method by joining our Facebook group called Hot Process Soap Making with Sharon Johnson. And don't forget, once you purchase the ebook tutorial, you have exclusive access to our secret Facebook group called HP Extreme University, where you can get all the help you need. So head on over and get your copy today. So are you ready to make some soap? Well, let's get started. And for this video tutorial, I will be using two squeeze bottles which are previously lined with piping bags. It allows for a much easier cleanup. I will also be using a traditional sized uh, two pound mold for this particular soap. In the last video I created uh, called Flowers in Bloom, I actually used a slab mold. Now to create the flowers, I'm using two cylindrical uh, pipe fittings. They're actually PVC pipe fittings that you can purchase from your local hardware store. Now let me say that for this method I'm only using 35% water and it, I'm actually using the lard recipe from the ebook. Now this method does not require the overuse of simple syrup nor yogurt in order to create a fluid hot process soap. Because anytime you use over 40% water along with using a lot of simple syrup and a lot of yogurt or any additive in hot process soap making, it may result in a soft sticky bar of soap that's going to take a very long time for the soap to dry out. So if you're going to use a lot of additives, use them very sparingly. And as far as yogurt, I only suggest using one tablespoon per pound of oils. Nothing more than that. Okay, enough talking. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this video tutorial. Thank you. 
So there you have it, the making of Flowers in Bloom 2, Hot Process Soap. And I hope you actually learned something today that will inspire you to go out and make your own version of Flowers in Bloom. And I would love to see what ideas you come up with. So come on over and join us in our Facebook group and show us your lovely photos of your hot process soap. Okay guys, you know how we do it around here on this channel. I cannot let you go without speaking a blessing over your life. So may God continue to bless you, keep you, and shine his face upon you. And remember, no matter what happened yesterday, today, or even tomorrow, God's mercies for you, they're new every morning. So whenever you fall, ask for forgiveness, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start all over again. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. I never take for granted your love and support, and I love seeing your comments. So, I can't wait to see you the next time. Now don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Now stay tuned for Photos of the Cut.